friends. I am throwing around a massage ball. I will stop doing that. I was, uh, I hit the record button and I spent about a minute in silence just tossing around this ball. I hit the record button too soon. I was thinking about how I was going to frame what I'm planning on talking about today, which is deliberate in action. So as a creative person, there's this part of the process. So as a creative person, you can think of it in two steps. So step one is not doing anything at all. And step two is bursting in creative productivity. So I'm going to elaborate on this, but the best metaphor that I can think of in the moment is if you imagine like a seed, like you plant a seed in the ground and then you sit there and wait and nothing happens. And if it's a carrot seed, you wait a really, really, really long time and nothing happens. And in the planting world, that's like about two weeks or so before you even see like the tiniest carrot sprout coming out of the earth. And this period where nothing is popping out of the soil is really important because that's when the root system of the plant is starting to um, sprout. So there is a lot happening, even though you can't actually see anything on the surface. So this is how I feel about the first part of the creative process, which is basically doing nothing. So one thing that I've been going through lately is a period of eliminating things from my life. So I've talked about my relationship with social media and email and things like that. And I've just been in this, this culling phase trying to just create space. And I've been doing a lot of thinking, but I haven't been doing a lot of active work as pertains to my business. So I teach piano courses online and I have a YouTube channel, most of you know, and part of the, the process of, of staying fresh and getting ideas for what direction to take my business in is very similar to the creative process that I have when I'm say writing an album or making even a song, something like that. It's in order to have ideas on what to do with the next step and to get the idea of like, yes, this is the thing that I'm going to do. This is going to be the next course, or this is going to be the next phase in my business. It really helps to just disconnect from my business somewhat. So I go through phases where I'll be pretty actively engaged in my business. Um, I'm creating a lot of videos and a lot of content, and then I'll have phases where I step back and I don't, I don't engage with my business very much. I basically do what I need to do. So um, any type of coursework, like right now I'm creating, I'm in the process of developing and making a course and working with students to help them through it. But aside from doing that, I've largely stepped back for the past few weeks. And what this has allowed is an idea to of the next step to germinate. And this isn't, it's deliberate inaction because I'm choosing to step away from my regular work, my business, to leave space for new ideas to sprout. But what that does not mean is actively thinking about what the next step is. It's just allowing things to settle. Just it, It's sort of like a process of stepping back, further zooming out a little bit. If I was brainstorming ideas constantly, like what to do with my business next, I, I'm staying in my zoomed in mode. I don't get the same detachment as when I actually get space and distance from something. So in a creative project, if, if you're writing a song, how I write songs is oftentimes I'll have like the seed of an idea and I'll plant it, which basically means recording a crappy demo, maybe getting like a verse or a chorus down. If I'm very lucky, maybe a little bit more structure, maybe the bones of an entire song, but that's rare. Usually it's just a little bit of an idea. And then the idea sits on the shelf. I ignore it. I forget it exists. It sits there for sometimes even years. Um, oftentimes it's weeks or months before the idea is somehow ready. I pick it up again and all of a sudden I can create it. it. It becomes more fully fleshed. I create a full song and then I step away again because ideas need space and room and it's not an active deliberation and contemplation that the next step arrives. Oftentimes it's doing something totally different, getting totally out of the mode and, and then that fresh idea arrives. So how this is translating in my business is I've stepped away for um, about a month, not totally, but largely. And what has happened recently, like in the past couple days, is I've found the next aha thing, not by focusing on my business, but by doing the opposite, focusing on other things. I've been reading books. I've been writing a lot. I've been journaling. Um, I did a video about how I've been writing and reading a lot lately. And that's actually something I'm going to continue. Um, I've been having conversations. I've been going for a walk. I've spent a lot of time with my child lately cause she was sick. So that meant, you know, 
can't go anywhere when you have a sick child during COVID times and all of this. And I went to the lake for a week where I disconnected from all input basically except for books, uh, did, did a puzzle, um, worked on crossword puzzles and stuff like that. And all of this has allowed uh, just that, that dust to settle. It's allowed me to step back. And then all of a sudden I'm really eager with a new idea and I can suddenly see, okay, this is a, this is a great next step. And I, I, know exactly the way in which I'm ready to re-engage and to create. I find this a really useful two-step process because when I'm ready to get in the creation mode and act on an idea, I do it really well. I'm a good action taker, so, um, but it doesn't always look that way. But uh, if, if I wait to become possessed with an idea and give the space for that idea to arrive, then I can make plans, I can strategize, I can create tons of content, I can devote tireless hours to something to to bring it forth into the world. And this is how I do basically every single one of my creative projects, be it an album, be it a piece of writing. It's, it's always in this great burst of activity after periods of general inactivity. So to the casual observer, it looks like not being productive. If my mom were to observe what my life has looked like for the past few weeks, she'd be like, get a job. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself? Um, but if you have the ability, any, any type of art you do, and even business, if you're feeling a little bit uh, like you don't know where to go, you don't know what the next step is, you don't know what to create, you don't know what the next idea is, Try just not thinking about it at all for a little while. Try totally detaching from it, immersing yourself in unrelated things. Because what's happening is is not nothing. There is a lot happening in the back of your mind, in your subconscious. You're not calculating things in the front of your mind. It reminds me of how, uh, it's like the shower thoughts, right? Or like how you have your your brilliant ideas when you're doing a totally unrelated task. Like when you're, you're in the shower, you get the aha moment. Because it's like things simmer in the background. And especially in periods of silence, that's where they start to come to fruition. They come to the forefront. Now in the shower, oftentimes this is a really random thought. I'm trying to think of a, what's a, what's a good shower thought. Okay, write it to the rescue. Considering how many 90s kids were obsessed with Nirvana, it is surprising there aren't tons of teenagers and 20 somethings named Kurt. That is an example of shower thought. Not very deep, not very meaningful, but it's interesting to see what comes to the forefront when you're in a, a blank, date, like driving or showering. So this is like the thing that I'm describing today is kind of like an extended shower thought. It's like a, a three week long shower or sometimes longer where you're, you're just waiting for that idea to sprout. So if you're a creative person and you have a little bit of angst and maybe even despair, as I often have in the past of what am I doing with my life? What's I like, you don't, you, you can't, it's, it's very difficult for a type A personality to do something totally different than their mission. And in this case, my mission relates to my business. Um, it's difficult to step away from it because I think that, okay, no, I have to keep doing it. I have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. But, um, as any creative person knows, at least in my experience, it's that stepping away that really allows you to break through to the next level, whatever that means, the, um, the really exciting idea or the, the idea that you, you probably wouldn't have ever had if you just kept pushing hard. And then once you are claimed by that idea, then you can full throttle, give it all of your energy and attention. And to those of you who observe us creative people and think like they are so random and unpredictable, why are you like not working? Why are you just sitting there? Um, there is method to the madness. Um, just something to think about. Really excited for the next month or so of my business. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm ready to throw myself back into it after a little bit of a deliberate and much needed hiatus. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.